I'll have to admit, I've gotten big into metal detecting. And when you get big into metal detecting, you quickly realize you need tools. So you got this pinpoint connector and you got a digger. This is digger is sharp and this is the she that came in. But you know what? It's all it's going to do, break down over time and get dirty. So I've come up with a new sheath design that you can make on your own out of one and a quarter inch Schedule 20 pipe. And a little bit of heat gun action and you got something that all that dirt's gonna come through here. If it gets too dirty, unlike this, where it's all just gonna go in that pocket, it's gonna fall down through here. And if it's a major problem, you just take it off the belt and clean it. This design is part of my series on making gear for metal detecting. I wasn't liking some of the things that I saw, so what happens when I don't like what I can buy or it's too expensive? I make it my own cheap. It doesn't mean it's cheap gear. It means it's great gear at low cost prices for people who want to do a little bit of DIY. Here's a collector. This will be a future video. Here's a collector with a little extending brush that you can scrape off your finds with. And then here's a cleaning station with a rag, a toothbrush, and a pick, all so that when you put them in here, it's not just a big muddy mess. Those videos, when they become available, I'll post them up there and down below. But today's video is all about this easy but really important sheath for your digger. Let's go to a top-down shot and get into all the details. Here's the design challenge for this piece. I got this really great digger. I'll post it down below in case you're interested. It comes with this sheath that's kind of good. It's got rivet points here and here, a nice little Velcro strap. It fits in here like this. But there's two things I see that are wrong with this design. First of all, I think eventually this really sharp edge is going to cut into here, even with the rivets. And this thing has a tendency to get dirty. It's just going to fill this whole sheath in with dirt. So I've come up with this idea where I take this Schedule 20 PVC pipe. I'm going to flatten it with a heat gun and then slide this thing in here. Okay, I've got a nice fit on both ends. I've cut it off here because that's where my sheath is going to be. Line here, I have to way through. I'm going to bend that back and put this in place, and then I'm going to use this part as the handle that goes on to the belt. I slide the blade in there and then I heat it up on both sides and use the blade to form it. And then I just take a leather glove and press down so I'm not burning my hand when I'm forming this. My hand is protected by this glove. Finished up with a bit more shaping, and I've got it just right. It's easy to pull out, but sits in there nice and firm, so it's not going to come out. There was cuts through here, so I just took a round file, so filed this off here so that it won't crack anymore. Now, what am I going to do here? Originally, I was going to run a belt loop through here, but I think that's too much friction on the belt loop. So I'm going to kind of use this approach with this bungee cord, like I did for this collector and for this cleaner and just run it on the inside so that I can slip it onto the belt. You could use paracord or this 1 8 inch bungee. I'll post that down below. And I need to protect this bungee. So I've got 3 16 inch holes that I've drilled with this step drill. Right there, right there, right there. And then I'm going to feed the bungee cord through here. So both ends I'm just knotting the bungee. And so I'm going to stretch it out a good bit here, put a overhand knot. That what that will do is allow me to bury the knot into the plastic just like I have here. And then just pull it back through like that. This is a five inch piece of bungee. I think you need a little bit to tie the knot. You probably could go with a four inch piece. So that's what I'll try over here. And then just finish it off. I like to finish it off with a little fire and just bury it. Feed the bungee through the back. You might need a hook depending on how tight this hole is on either side. Just do a simple overhand knot, but try not to waste too much bungee. And you want to tighten it down 
real good. That's probably a little too much. So just keep rolling it and just pull it through. Bury the knot so that it protects it from the blade, see? And then just take and do the same thing up here. Run it through the top, pull it tight. You want a little bit of give there and just pull it back down through. And there you go. Nice elastic strap on which to slide on to the belt. You could use paracord if you had it, but this elastic is just so useful for a whole bunch of things. It's one of those materials that if you have it on hand, you're going to use it all the time. And I just loop it a bunch of times like that just to lock it off. And that is so much better. And it costs two, three dollars to make. I mean, I've seen leather ones. None of them have a hole like this to let the dirt through. And you will clean it off a little bit when you put it back in the sheath, but if for some reason this gets all dirty, you could just take and rinse it out with some soap and water and you're good to go. So what do you think? Are you into metal detecting? Will this work for you? Post your comments down below. Thumbs up are always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in all sorts of crazy designs for all sorts of hobbies, making and breaking things, evaluation and designs of sports gear, photography equipment, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're gonna see.